2023, Ganduje under fire over remark on Tinubu that the North is behind him. Hello, my wonderful people. The North has turned on Ganduje asking him what he means by that. Don't forget that in the North, uh, Konkoso has started a new political movement. Okay, he has started a new political movement, and the Northern elders are with the new political movement. Even those who told uh, Tinubu initially that they would stay with him, he should not worry, they will, they will, they will vote for him. He's been spreading 50, 50 million in the North. However, uh, it, it may not be because, uh, you know, if you, in case you're not aware, brothers stay together unless betrayers. So this is what is happening. And um, Gandhiji has been asked who told him who told him to go and say that, uh, who told him to go and say uh, they are supporting, uh, you know, Tinubu and giving him an assurance. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. 2023, Ganduji under fire over remarks about Tinubu, promising that the North will support Tinubu. The Kano state governor, Ganduji, has come under fire for claiming that the North has no choice but to support the former governor of Lagos State, Ashwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobu, for the 2023 presidency. Ganduje was also lambasted for taking a highly undemocratic stand by making generalize, generalization claim about his own personal choice of candidate and pretending it was a northern interest. It is your interest. Don't put us in the mask. A group under the alliance of Senator Godwin Akwabio for good governance in a press release signed by Jubrim wondered who gave Ganduje the mandate to speak for the entire North on the matter of choice of a democratic system. Challenging Ganduje to mention a single project Tinubu has initiated for the benefit of Northerners since 1999, SGACJ said that comparing our candidate governor, uh, Senator Godwin Akwabio, and the current Minister of Niger Data Affairs has done more, lots more for the North in the entirety than Tinubu has done. Tinubu, has, whatever he has done is only for the Southwest. And whatever else he gave was for philanthropical purposes. Come to any state in the North and see what Senator Akwabio has done. It is there. How dare we now pick Tinubu to say is the best candidate and the entire North would support him. Ganduje, that is your opinion. You cannot impose a candidate on us. It is therefore added that Ganduje should go back to Tinubu and not give him a false hope that the entire North is behind him. Tinubu is one of the aspirants and should continue to solicit for support. Not anybody coming to put an entire region to say we are compelled to vote for a certain candidate. Tinubu must continue to go out and make consultation. But Ganduje, if you want Tinubu, it's at your disposal and not the generality of the Northern interest for you to tell the whole of the North that Tinubu is a candidate we should support. This word is to Tinubu to know that Ganduje's statement is a personal influence, personal interest, and not the general entirety of the North. Ganduje should be warned and Tinubu should not be fooled. So my wonderful people, Tinubu is getting shocker left, right and center. In case you're not aware, a northern elder who was supposed who has given his support, okay, supposed to be supporting Tinubu left, right and center has now joined the Rabi Okonkoso uh, movement for 2023. Okay, he has joined the Konkoso movement and the um, Konkoso movement is that they want to unseat whether PDP or APC. And this is one of the northern elders that will, that, you know, will go out with Tinubu with regards to elections and tell the people that uh, Tinubu is the man. See and see what he has done in the north, blah, 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 blah. Apparently, those things may not stand because uh, there are more, you know, more candidates who are showing interest in one area or the other or, you know, saying that uh, this is the person of our choice. This is who we want. And the entirety of the north is saying to Ganduje, I mean, look at elder statesman. You can see him there, you know. Yeah, can see he was one of those who told Tinubu not to worry. In fact, he should go and start preparing. But that's 
man for you, you see. Man proposes, God disposes. And before you could say Jack Robinson, the very people, the persons you thought about were with you and you thought that you've got their backing. Listen, if man does, if God does not, uh, you know, whisper to a man to help you, listen, guys, you can't get help from that particular person. Have you not heard of people that say, my brother is the governor and they are, you know, until the governor finishes, I will give you a contract. I will give you a contract. The contract never comes. Don't worry. It's not I'm, uh, two years down into his administration. Don't worry. Why are you worrying yourself? We are the ones in power now. Before you know it, it's gone to Abuja. Before you know it, it's, it's because of this. When I come back, I'm signing the contract. Three years, five months is gone. And before you could say Jack Robinson, there goes the whistle. It's blown and it's off the tangent. And guess what? Not a single contract has come in one way or another. So what you see, all you see is not all there is. Okay, so there is real, you know, real call for Tinubu to re-strategize because he has told us this is his long life ambition. Come rain, come shine. He's even told the youth to go and uh, look for other things to occupy themselves with because as he stands, he's not, he's not burgeoning. Okay, they, so there's no youthful agenda in, in any of these things he's talking about. In fact, he's ready to take the bull by the horn. So any youth who truly want to become president, so, mm, it is, you know, it, it's, it's, their, it's their prerogative. But uh, according to what he said, he has to, you know, he has to, first of all, get his own tenor done. And so Northern Elders leaders are calling Ganduje to order to say, Chinubu is your personal preference. Yes, we don't have a problem with, with him being your personal preference. However, don't impose him on us. Don't go and give him a, a, a you know, a blatant promise that is not real. Don't deceive him. Bottom line, don't deceive him. And Chinubu has been going around spending 50, 50 million, by the way, if you're not aware. He's been sharing 50, 50 million to different people and he's been sharing it all around. I mean, whether you like it or not, this is the reality. Northerners are warning, you know, Ganduje, please don't impose your candidate on us. Don't do that. Don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Tenubu is your choice. That's fine. We don't have a problem with him being your choice. However, don't put him on us. Okay? Don't do that. Don't put him on us. So Tinubu, uh, warning is coming on. Uh, and know those you are spraying your money around, though. A man that leaves his own and go to another person's house. You leave your farm. Your farm, you know, the whole place is already grown. Grass all over the place. The whole place, you know, overgrown. You've not cleared it of weeds so that they can maximize the, the nutrient in the soil and produce. Give you a bumper harvest. But you go to your neighbor's farm and you're doing a good Samaritan. Watch it out. Let's leave that. Leave, give us a comment. God bless. Bye for now.